I recently came across an article that I thought was interesting enough to share, and I think I may be able to provide proper scientific support for these claims for the very first time ever by presenting the original published study. The timing of astral disembodiment in which the spirit leaves the body has allegedly been captured by Russian scientist Konstantin Korotkov to photograph a person at the moment of his death with a bioelectrographic camera dash. The image taken using the gas discharge visualization method, an advanced technique of Kerlin photography, shows in blue the life force of the person leaving the body gradually. According to Korotkov, navel and head are the parties who first lose their life force, which would be the soul and the groin and the heart are the last areas where the spirit before surfing the phantasmagoria of the infinite. In other cases, according to Korotkov, the the soul of people who suffer a violent and unexpected death usually manifests a state of confusion in your power settings and return to the body in the days following death. This could be due to a surplus of unused energy. The technique developed by Korotkov, who is director of the Research Institute of Physical Culture, St. Petersburg, is endorsed as a medical technology by the Ministry of Health of Russia and is used by more than 300 doctors in the world for stress and monitoring progress of patients treated for diseases such as cancer. Korotkov says his energy imaging technique could be used to watch all kinds of imbalances biophysical and diagnose in real time and also to show if a person does have psychic powers or is a fraud. This technique which measures real-time and stimulated radiation is amplified by the electromagnetic field is a more advanced version of the technology developed for measuring semi and Kerlin aura. So for the first time ever, the infamous case finally has the original study coupled with it to strengthen its claims. The photos of the soul leaving the body at death would look nothing like the one at the top of the article and would look more like spikes and amplitudes in GDV energetic photographs that correlate with the nature of the person's death and the time at which they died. There may be other similar studies among the hundred he has published which have yet to be dug up and reported upon, but I think that it's interesting to at least acknowledge the fact that photographs of our energy informational systems can be objectively photographed within our bodies after death.